Well, hello there, fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to yet another video. Now, as a huge DC Comics fan, I thought I could provide you with my own take, my opinions on uh, the news that has been all over the internet for the for the past couple of days, and it uh, concerns Henry Cavill apparently returning to the role of Superman in either some possible sequels of The Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. Um, now there are rumors, and I'm not sure whether they are only rumors or whether it has been um, confirmed, but more or less, that um, the movie might be directed by J.J. Abrams, so a lot of lens flare, um, or some possible other films, um, such as Shazam, I think, it has been discussed that uh, Henry Cavill might appear in a possible Shazam sequel and so on and so forth. Now, of course, things like that, as, as everything in the world, really every single thing in the world, divides people, right? Because there are, you know, millions of different opinions and millions and different things. You take a thousand people, you've got a thousand different op opinions, right? They might that might have been a uh, hyperbole, but you know what I mean. You catch my drift. Now, uh, what do I think about it? I think it's a, it's actually a great idea for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, well, he has been Superman for some time, um, a big blockbuster Superman. I'm not talking about the um, like TV show Superman or one of the multiple TV show Superman that was now a part of the TV DC universe um, which I don't really follow but I have seen a couple of scenes from the Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, I believe they called it after the comic book event um, episode and it was like man it was yeah well it was eh. A low-budget TV show about superheroes. It wasn't that good, but it was nice to see s s certain things. For example, Kevin Conroy as um, old Bruce Wayne. That was that was quite cool, I have to admit. But what about Henry Cavill? Yeah, so he has been uh, the Superman for a couple of years now. He ha appeared in The Man of Steel and Batman v Superman and the Justice League. So why not? Why not um, keep it? this way. You know? um, I really don't think there is a need to do uh, to Superman the same thing that has been done to James Bond or Batman. You, you've got um, a different Batman for each and every new Batman movie or uh, a, a reboot. So there would be a little more consistency, right? Things would be a bit more consistent, which is fine. Um, secondly, I myself like him in the role of Superman. Um, he's got the looks, he's a handsome man, um, and a ripped guy, you know, when he hits the gym, um, for the role of Superman, he is able to transform his body into a godly looking, I am not kidding, I am, I, well, of course I'm not kidding, you, you, are, if you are a, um, watcher of this channel, you have all seen the films with him, right, so, yeah, he, he really is Superman looking, um, and thirdly, the acting, you know, for the most simplistic version of Superman, you don't really need to be a master actor. Now, of course, uh, you need a good writer to write an interesting, uh, complicated Superman character and Superman story. For instance, uh, I love Mark Millar's uh, Superman Red Sun. Um, I love uh, All-Star Superman by Grant Morrison, uh, I adore uh, the Man and Superman that was just recently released but actually written in I believe 2006. All these comic books depict Superman in a bit more complicated way. Then we've got the standard vanilla good boy Boy Scout Superman who really just should stand for truth, justice and the American way and we really like this Boy Scout who saves the saves the day and saves the universe and uh, you just need to you know look good have a nice smile when you do this 
it's enough for you, you know? And um, <clears throat> Henry Campbell definitely can do that. He's British. Um, and he is very... And I'm not... I don't... I do not mean this in a bad way. I just say things how they appear and how I uh, perceive them. He's posh looking. Really, he... He can, you know, he's got a beautiful RP. Um, he... Uh, the, you know, the, the mimics... His his facial expressions, his his gestures. He's a very elegant and posh-looking man, um, and he can do an American accent, which if you want to play Superman, you need, right? So all these things combined make a good Superman. So why not? De he's he's definitely much better Superman than his Geralt from The Witcher. Um, this is the original Polish version. I'm half Polish, so I, uh, I, I have been lucky to reread the Witcher series many times in Polish, but and I've only seen the first episode of the Witcher. Then I lost interest uh, because the series, and that's a matter for another video. It's really I, I uh, wouldn't make it this way. And secondly, I really don't like Henry Cavill in the role of Geralt. No, no, thank you very much indeed. But as a Superman, definitely. He's a fantastic, tremendous uh, man, fit for playing Superman. And I can't wait to see him in as many cameos or um, main roles as a Superman in the uh, DC Comics cinematic universe. Be it directed by J.J. Abrams or not. Now that is my take, my own opinion. What about you, my friends? Would you like to see Henry Cavill in some of the new DC films or not? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, do not forget to dislike this video if you don't like it or like this video if you like it and subscribe to this unimportant channel of an unimportant geek talking about unimportant things. And that would be all from me, my friends. See you soon and bye.